Hello all, this is Michael Enzo with Advertising Report Card. I'm checking back in on the Facebook two-factor authentication issues. I have a new solution I wanted to post for everybody. Thank you for everyone who's been responding in the comments. A few things first, if you're following this because you're having issues, make sure to subscribe to the channel and share these videos if any of them apply to anyone else that you know. Some of these solutions work for some, some of them don't work for others. The solution today here is how to turn on SMS notifications. This only works for some people, but this solution does work. So please, again, respond in the YouTube comments. Please don't reach out directly. Um, where This is not a service that we're providing. I'm not getting paid for this. I just found the issue, and I'm bringing it to the attention so that everybody who's having these issues can work together to get Facebook to respond to the problems that we're having. So please, again, subscribe and reply in the comments. Record your own videos as well. I'm using Loom right now. Loom is free record what issues you're having so that we can all work together. So the solution today is unique because rarely have we seen um, Facebook support actually give this recommendation and it also includes information I've never heard of before. Um, what you can do is text START to number 32665. It's a short code through Facebook. And then she says, wait five minutes. So I did this and it didn't work for me but I don't know exactly why that is. I'm US based with an iPhone. Maybe that has something to do with it. Also, maybe five minutes isn't long enough. Maybe it's more like an hour or maybe even 24 hours. So give that a test. One second. Sorry, an ambulance showed by and I'm outside. So text 32665 to start and wait. That's the biggest thing is that it has to go through. And then that is when you can try to get them to send you an SMS so that you can log in. Now, I know that SMS is not always available for the two-factor. For some people, it is, but they're not receiving the SMS code. This right here is what can make sure that your phone can receive Facebook's SMS. So regardless if you can receive this or not, sign, can make sure that you do this and get the confirmation back from Facebook because when you're trying to log in, eventually it might ping your phone if they change their settings. This is something that everybody should do. And I don't know why they're recommending this, but this is just another sign of Facebook support, copy and pasting support documents into an email. I'm almost 100% uh, sure at this point that all of Facebook's support are bots. I don't think there's any humans. Um, if there are, please someone from Facebook reach out. I know that you guys have a big company, should have plenty of employees. The fact that your support team responds back to tickets like this is just robotic and cold. There's so many people, thousands, I've had unbelievable amounts of people reach out to me. And the one thing that's a common theme is that everybody gets almost the exact same message. So just FYI, pretty sure everybody at Facebook are robots. Makes a lot of sense because either Mark Zuckerberg's a lizard and an alien or a robot himself, or maybe all three. We never will know. Hopefully we find out eventually. The one thing that I found was interesting about this was the LS nonce. I've never seen that. I don't even know what that means, but evidently if you request a code too many times, you'll get this error message. So in my mind, receiving this error message means that the channel is still open. So if you get that, it's not the end of the world. It might actually mean that you can get access through this. So again, thank you for who sent this to me so I could share it with uh, the community. Again, we're all in this together. If you're locked out of your Facebook account, please make sure to not be toxic in the comments. Warning, do not respond to any bots. I have a video on the playlist, all the bots in the comments, like reach out to this person, he fixed it for me. Those are all hackers. When you have a lockout issue with Facebook, hackers know that they can try to fish you into giving them your information so they can get back into your account for you. It's a lie. The only person that's going to get you back into your account is Facebook. Do not believe any of these scammers or hackers in my comment section. We try to go through and delete their comments every day, but they're all bots too, just like Facebook's chat support. So they're, they're very prevalent. So just be careful. If you have any questions about somebody or if you want to report some of the bots, please, I should make another video. If you see a bot, report it. Let's get those accounts out of here. Um, but yeah, this is it. I hope that this works for some of you. If it does, please respond in the comments. Please subscribe and share for those who may not know that this exists and they need to, um, to see this. So again, thank you very much. This is Michael with Advertising Report Card, and hopefully this helps somebody.